I always get asked how to break in a goalie glove. Young goalies struggle to catch the puck, they struggle to break in their gloves, and today I wanted to show you some tips on how I break in gloves and some things I've learned about how to do it well. Of course, there's going to be some areas of things you shouldn't do to break in your glove. Really, Steve? Really? You want to turn it up full blast as hot as it can go. And this is something I recommend an adult do with a kid. I don't want younger kids playing around with this. An adult should be helping you with this. And first things first, when you get it hot, nice and steamy, you want to let it run down the palm and through that crack on the outside of the glove. And for about a minute, you're going to let the water coat that area. Nowadays, there's no real leather in gloves, so mink oil and treatments and stuff you put on it is never going to help and water is never going to hurt synthetic material. So you get that crease perfectly hot for about a minute. After that we want to go in and get all the internal finger channels and the internal palm part all with that tap hot water. Now obviously we don't want anybody getting burned so this again needs to be done with adult supervision. I don't want kids doing this burning their hands. So after about a minute you're going to drain it out of both sides. Make sure it's not too hot to touch to your fingers and you can move that in there several times. It should already start to feel looser. And So now what we're going to do is put it with the towel and let it sit and let it dry briefly for probably five ten minutes. Just let it dry up a little bit. All right, the next thing we want to do is to sort of set the pocket overnight for 24 hours. You can use pucks, softball, any object you want to fill up that pocket. I found an old John Deere wheel that's going to fit that pocket nicely. We're going to get that to close nicely, sealing up exactly how we want it. And then all we're basically going to do is take a string and get that thing nice and tight. So that's going to be held nice and tight overnight. We can do it with a string. I also like to maybe put something heavy on it and by getting that nice closure exactly how you want it this is going to set the break and set the closure on your glove. How nice and tight that is, you got your pocket set fully filling it up and then we can move on to the next step.
One of the key tests to see if your glove's broken in well enough is to make sure you can hold the stick with just your trapper. You also want to get really good at going from stance to shooting position, stance to shooting position. This is a great drill to work on either underhand grip, overhand grip, whichever one you want to use. The key is this glove has got to grab the stick. You need to be able to hold that thing upside down in your hand, in your glove without it falling out. That's a test to see if your glove's broken in well enough.